Hey guys, this is Aditya Trivedi coming live from the studio of Coding Adda, right? Live in Bangalore. And today's news is Create React app has been officially deprecated. Many of the developers have come across the streets of Bangalore and have started talking about why React is deprecated. And people have started going crazy. So in this news, I'll be talking about why Create React app has been deprecated and will be sharing my point of view. Hey guys, I am Aditya Trivedi, your bade bhaiya, your educator, your entertainer and your brother for coding and So yeah, in this video we will be talking about why Create React app has been depreciated and what is the main reason for the depreciation of Create React app. And if you are a developer who has been using Create React app, what is the next step you have to take? And if you are someone who has not been using, so I, I don't think there is no nothing much to tell to you guys. So let's get into the video and let's see what's the reason behind it. So when you go across the blog for the react.dev where they have written since setting create react app on February 14, create react app was announced as deprecated. Let's see that why it was deprecated. So here they wrote Matt Carroll and Ricky Hamlon wrote, today we are deprecating create react app for new apps and encouraging pre-existing apps to migrate to a framework or to migrate to a build tool like version, uh, not version, wheat, parcel and RS build. What's the reason behind deprecating React app? Let's see. Here they have written, although the Create React app makes it easy to get started, there are several limitations making it difficult to build high performance production applications. In principle, we could solve these problems by essentially evolving into a framework. There was one such issue that I personally used to face when I was learning or when I used to create projects on Create React app. The issue was when you are right, creating a project, it used to take a lot of time to instantiate that project and when you start try to run that project it takes at least two to three minutes to start up the server and that really gives a kind of a bad user experience or a bad developer experience when they are creating any kind of a product so hence it was needed to give a fast performing application however since create react app has currently no active maintainers and there are many existing frameworks that solve these problems we have decided to deprecate the react app yeah so why uh, should we move to a new framework why are why there are different frameworks see the, uh, apart from react there were a lot of different frameworks that i had been personally using i had worked upon wheat i had worked upon um, nextjs i had worked upon the expo router for creating mobile applications and compared to react i have seen that these applications are much faster much efficient and also offer much uh, optimized way of writing the code and optimized way of especially maintaining the assets of your project okay so the next thing is you can migrate uh, to any kind of framework the first framework that we have over here is the nextjs and personally i think nextjs is one of the very fastest applications or very fastest frameworks that have come across and projects that are created using nextjs are obviously super fast than what we have uh, using react okay there is something called Wheat.js as well. I'll just go to the website Wheat.js. Wheat.js is also pretty good framework. It's simple to install. It's simple to instantiate and it's very simple to run. The file and folder structure that we have over here for Wheat is almost similar to React. Okay. For Next.js, it is a bit different. Now, the first one was how to migrate to a framework. The next one is how to migrate to build. What you can do is if your app has unusual constraints or you prefer to solve these problems by building your own framework or you want to just learn how react works from scratch you can also set, set up your own react using wheat parcel or rebuild these are basically the build tools that uh, you can use and if you want to know more about what these frameworks do and what you can do for uh, using this kind of frameworks you can obviously go to the react dev blogs and see what's the main reason for that as i say the end is the beginning. In Hindi, we say Anthi Aramvet. 
So don't worry if the CRA is ending. There are much better frameworks that have come recently, and you can experiment yourself with these frameworks and see yourself where you stand for uh, those particular frameworks and kind of create projects on that. And also uh, be ready for the upcoming changes that will be coming in the frameworks or in the world of AI, in the world of development, and in the world of software engineering. Okay. Uh, this was basically the news that I wanted to tell to you guys and. This is a different way of shooting the content uh, that I usually do. So please let me know in the comment section whether you liked this kind of uh, videos or not. And if you liked it, then we will obviously shoot more of these kind of videos for our channel. And yeah, this was it for the video. If you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.